Welcome to the Kimla channel. Before we start the video, let's introduce today's topic. The Johor Bahru Singapore RTS Link, a $2.9 billion project, is set to transform travel between Malaysia and Singapore, cutting commute times from hours to just minutes. Now, let's explore how this exciting project is reshaping the future of commuting. The RTS Link is more than convenient. It's about solving a major traffic issue that has affected the region for decades. Every day, thousands of commuters face long delays at border crossings, causing frustration and economic losses. But with the RTS Link set to be completed by 2026, all that will change with its advanced design. The RTS, short for Rapid Transit System, is not just another project. It's the solution to the traffic bottleneck between Malaysia and Singapore. Currently, two main land routes connect these nations, the Johor-Singapore Causeway and the Malaysia-Singapore Second Link. These crossings have become overwhelmed by growing traffic demands. So how did this ambitious project begin? It started as a bold vision in 2010, aiming to create a direct, efficient rail connection to ease traffic. The idea gained momentum after years of discussion, and by 2021, construction finally began, with completion expected in 2026. Historically, the Johor-Singapore Causeway has been the main crossing for travel, but by the 1990s, it couldn't keep up with the number of commuters. The Malaysia-Singapore Second Link was added in 1998 to help, but even that hasn't stopped traffic jams. This has hurt businesses and caused delays. Enter the RTS Link, a project envisioned to be a game changer for both nations. First proposed in 2010, the idea was simple. Create a direct, efficient rail connection that would ease traffic on the causeway and drastically improve connectivity. But why did it take so long to bring this project to life? Well, before the RTS link, the concept of a mass rapid transit MRT system connecting northern Singapore to Johor Bahru had been discussed since as early as 1991. The idea was to extend Singapore's MRT network into Johor Bahru, allowing seamless travel across the border. Yet it wasn't until the 2010 Singapore-Malaysia Leaders' Retreat that the project gained real momentum. After a decade of negotiations, political changes, and technical planning, the RTS link broke ground in 2021. Imagine standing in Johor Bahru, Malaysia, looking across the Johor Strait towards Singapore. The RTS link, costing $2.9 billion, is set to transform this simple water crossing into a high-tech transit route. Stretching four kilometers from Bukit Chagar Station in Johor Bahru to Woodlands North Station in Singapore, this rail link will cut what is currently a journey of over an hour down to just five minutes. That's right, in just five minutes, passengers will be able to cross the busy strait, connecting these two bustling cities like never before. Why were these locations chosen? Well, Bukit Chagar, located in the heart of Johor Bahru, is a bustling urban center and one of Malaysia's key economic hubs. Johor Bahru, or JB as it's commonly known, is the southern gateway of Malaysia and sits directly across the causeway from Singapore. It's a strategic starting point for the RTS link, given its importance to both countries' economies. On the other side, Woodlands North in Singapore is located in the island's northern region. It's a residential and commercial area well served by Singapore's extensive MRT network. The choice of Woodlands North for the RTS link allows easy access to Singapore's Thompson East Coastline, making it a seamless connection for commuters. The construction of the RTS link is no small feat. It involves building a complex series of tunnels, viaducts, and stations, all designed with cutting-edge technology. For example, the Customs, Immigration, and Quarantine CIQ, facilities are pivotal to the project's success. These facilities are strategically placed at both ends of the link, allowing passengers to clear immigration at their departure point 
making the journey smoother and quicker. One of the most impressive engineering challenges was the construction of the connecting span, a 17, one meter long, 340 ton concrete structure that will link Malaysia's Pier 47 to Singapore's Pier 48. This massive structure is positioned 26 meters above sea level, ensuring that it remains stable and secure despite being subjected to various environmental factors. Let's dive into the technical details a bit more. The foundation work on Singapore's side included the completion of 12 pile caps, which are massive concrete bases designed to anchor the piers and support the viaducts. These pile caps play a critical role in ensuring the structure's stability, preventing it from shifting or sinking under the stress of the elevated rail. At the peak of construction, over 1,000 workers were deployed around the clock to transform an empty plot of land next to Woodlands North MRT station into a sprawling construction site. The station is expected to handle up to 40,000 passengers daily once the RTS link is operational. An interesting challenge was the installation of custom-made concrete segments that would form the rail viaduct. These segments, built at a precast yard, were like giant Lego pieces. With each weighing up to 180 tons, the construction teams had to work with extreme precision to install them correctly, especially given the high winds and rough weather conditions over the strait. Moreover, on the Malaysian side, workers faced the challenge of building 12 piers, including nine over water. The construction of these piers required the use of boats and barges to transport equipment and materials due to the logistical challenges posed by the waterway. As for the tunnel construction on Singapore's side, it was built at a maximum depth of 28 meters, connecting the viaduct to Woodlands North Station. This underground tunnel is part of an extensive linkway system that allows passengers to seamlessly transition between the different parts of the RTS Link network. When completed, the CIQ building and the RTS Link station at Woodlands North will cover an enormous 180,000 square meters, which is roughly 10 times the size of a typical MRT station. The RTS Link is more than just an engineering marvel. It's a project that will have a profound impact on the region. By reducing congestion and commute times, it will foster closer economic ties between Singapore and Johor Bahru, boosting businesses on both sides of the border. Reduced travel times mean increased productivity as employees and goods can move more freely and reliably across the border. In addition to improving the daily lives of commuters, the enhanced connectivity is also likely to attract new investments, further strengthening the economic landscape of both countries. In conclusion, the johor Bahru singapore RTS link is a game-changer for cross-border travel. With a $2.9 billion investment, this four-kilometer rail will make commuting between Malaysia and Singapore faster and easier. As the 2026 completion date nears, both countries look forward to smoother, quicker journeys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you.